YouTube family, CJ Young here. Hope everybody's doing well. As you can see, I'm in a new environment. Um, I'm not at my uh, laptop. I'm at my desktop. Um, I'm just going to ramble, you know. Uh, talk about different subjects, you know. And excuse my uh, uh, shade back there, my uh, curtain. It's uh, lopsided. I installed it wrong. But anyway, I'm going through a whole bunch of old books today. Um, come across, let's see, before I get to that, if you hear a noise, it's my refrigerator in my room. It gets on and off a lot, you know. Um, but that's what you will hear. And you might hear the computer running. Um, but you see, I also want to touch on, you see, I'm smart. You know, I'm not dumb like a lot of people in the world, but I use what I have, you know, like, they wanted to throw this away. Now, I want y'all to tell me down in the comments if you think it's dumb or stupid, all right? They just want to, you know how you put sugar and flour in these pots in the kitchen? It's kind of shaped like this, you know? Well, I took it, and I made it. A pen holder. Now, have you ever heard of that before? It not listen. You store your pens. I got some pencils in there. I got some markers. It, it comes in handy. Yes, it's a thing you put in the kitchen, but it's also good for pens and pencils. What's the big deal? So, with that said, oh, let, let me go ahead and throw this in too. They bought me a remote holder for Christmas. And, you know, I only have a few remotes in my room. So I just store them underneath my uh, computer desk over here by my laptop. Now, so I took that, you know, I don't eat out very much. You know, they do, but I don't. But, you know, they bring home extra uh, plastic forks and spoons. Look at what I've done here. Here you have your straws. You got the, uh, some forks. Uh, I have some butter knives in here somewhere. Um, but hey, yeah, look at that. Don't that come in handy right there? Works for me. But they laugh at me. But hey, it works. Hey, you do what you use what you got. Ain't no need to go out and buy a whole bunch of fancy stuff when you can just rig up something you have in your little office. All right, now let's get to the books here. Let's start off with this uh, Reader's Digest here. Now, this was given to me by my grandmother, who passed away back in February. And, uh, you know, she used to collect these books and, you know, and so what. And uh, I haven't read this yet, but I'm going to. It's uh, She had a bunch of people sign it, the inside of it, you know. Um... I don't know any of the names that are written down in here, but I'm going to um, look them up on the internet to see what kind of results I come up with. But it says, congrats on your 200 volume. You know, I guess she ordered a bunch. Um, it gives health stuff. It gives, you know, and looks like history. So, like, you got, yeah, a... Uh, I just passed it right here. But anyway, you got your picture like that right there. Let's see what else. Uh, I passed it. See, it looks like some old history stuff you can read right there. Um, so, Reader's Digest. I, I've never been a big Reader's Digest uh, fan, but I'm going to read it and see what kind of good materials in it. All right, but then, now, the show that comes on FX, Sons of Anarchy, I got, I bought the book. Well, I actually got it for a Christmas gift, if you know what I mean. It was free. I didn't have to spend no money, you know. But there's the front of it, like I said. There's the back. It, uh, let's see. 
Your you the United States price is twenty six bucks, and Canada is uh, thirty bucks. So, like I said, as you can see, I got my bookmark here. Um, haven't read it all yet, but I'm going to. Uh, this fall, the spinoff, the Mayan, is coming on. Uh, the same channel, FX, is going to be, I think, related to the first nine and John Taylor and um, Clay Mar, you know, Piney and, uh, you know, all them people. And it's going to do with uh, a Spanish crew that was in the uh, Sons, Sons of Anarchy. But other than that, so that's one book I love. We go ahead and put that down over here. All right. Then I got the one who played Clay Morrow in Sons of Anarchy. I bought his book, Easy Street, with him and his cigars. Oh, I love to smoke me a cigar once in a while. I don't like to smoke because it's bad for your health. But, yeah. Let's see. I can't find the price. I think it was 20 five bucks if I'm not mistaken but I think I got it on sale um, this was also a Christmas gift um, let's see oh here we go twenty six ninety nine in the United States Canada thirty bucks it's in the inside right there as you can see right there but it talks about his personal life and all the stuff he went through pretty good book Easy Street, The Hard Way. I would definitely read this. Buy it if you haven't. Now, let's see. These books right here are books, um, you know, that they've gone throw away. And I said, no, I'll collect them because I, I store everything. Uh, you know, and there's one. I don't know. I haven't read it, so don't tell me what it's about because I have no clue. There's another one. A good, good book, I guess. It's a short stories, you know, that uh, that they have right there. Now we're getting into some good stuff. Because of Wind Ditsy. This probably was one of my favorite books. Now, back in middle school, elementary, you could not get me to read nothing. But what started getting me reading was Sports Illustrated. That's what got me reading and, you know, tr trying to work on my um, reading type of hitching problem. You see, um, I'm a little bit slow in school. Still kind of am. But I enjoy reading now, and because of Sports Illustrated, you know, that stopped me reading now. Now, yeah, so because of Wind Dixie, it's a major movie picture, let me tell you. The movie is awesome, too. Um, I don't know how much it costs in the United States. Let me see if I can... I'd say probably $20, 25 bucks maybe. There's the back, and there's the front. I just love that little dog on the front. You see, I'm not a big cat person. I, I like dogs best. Um, but there's that. Now we're getting into um, Moby Dick. You know, some of his uh, stuff is good. Um, let's see. One, two, three, four. I got a total of four books. I think there's uh, three more up there in the cabinet. I just haven't got to them yet. But, um, yeah, there's the back of that one. You know, um, I'm saving these because um, they're antiques. I call everything antique because one day they will be antiques. Uh, oh, my computer just went. Uh, all right, there we go. There's another one. Uh, great illustrate, illustrated classics. It reminds me of that Saul uh, movie, Saul. You know, not Saul. God damn it. What was that one? So, so, I think about a damn shark or whatever. You know what I mean. 
there's the bat. Uh, twenty bucks. I'm, I'm guessing. Uh, let's see. And there's another one, Moby Dick. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, I got this one on sale too. You see the price of that one? I, I'm thinking. Let me see. That's the same book. Yeah, I got two of them. They're the same. But still, they're still good books. Now, y'all let me know down in the comments. What's your favorite type of books you like to read? And, and if you wasn't a big reader, what was the thing that got you reading? You know, because, you know, I would like to know people's stories. Like mine was a sports illustrated, like I was saying. Um... Hope everybody's doing well. Uh, this is just kind of like a new thing I'm trying, a rambling video where I talk about different odd stuff uh, here at my little desk right here. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to follow me on my social media, Twitter, Zach1182, Instagram, Zach1182. Um, don't forget, be who you is, because if you ain't what you is, you ain't what you is. So, that's a God's honest truth right there. Um, let's see, I'll be having some more videos. Um, I'm going through, like I just did my books, I'm going through my CDs, and all my old PlayStation 1 games, all my PlayStation 2 games. I'm going to show them to y'all, and... Uh, and some more cool stuff. I got tons of DVDs, you know, that I'm going to share too. Um, right here at my little desk. And, um, yeah, and plus I still got a lot, lots more books that I'm going to share with y'all. Because, um, it gives me some video content to do. And gives me something to talk about. And, uh, plus I'll still, I, I have a lawnmower I have to put together. So, um, I might videotape that. I got a tree that needs cut down. I might videotape that. I'm going out to look at lawnmowers here. Probably in the next few days, I might videotape that. So, you, you never know what I might put up. You know, I might just surprise you one day. So, take care. God bless. And I'll speak to y'all again soon. Bye. This way, honey, fishing and loving every day. Black coffee in the morning